Hi everyone, it's Mrs. DIY here, and I'm ready to showcase another DIY project for you. Have you ever considered making your backyard shed a little more eco-friendly? With the growing popularity of solar energy, it's now easier and more affordable than ever to integrate solar panels and battery storage into your backyard setup. That's exactly what I did with my backyard shed. I began by constructing a base, assembling the shed, and mounting a 200 watt solar panel on top. I connected the panel to a charge controller, which is linked to a 100 amp hour LFP battery. This setup created a self-sustaining energy system that powers my tools and my backyard lights. No more worries about running electrical cords from my house. It's essentially a set it and forget it solution. With automation, my backyard lights come on after sunset and turn off before sunrise. This dramatically enhances the backyard's appearance, and all of this is made possible by the sun. My solar setup, or any off-grid system, typically consists of four key components. The solar panel, the charge controller, a battery, and an inverter. Given my modest energy needs for the shed, I opted for a single 200 watt solar panel paired with a 30 amp charge controller. This component is vital as it regulates the power going into the battery, preventing overcharging or undercharging. I'm particularly fond of this charge controller for its versatility. It can handle up to 30 amps and can connect to both lead acid and lithium batteries. Now, the LFP battery with a 100 amp hour capacity has become a preferred choice for solar setups. If you were contemplating the lead acid route, I highly recommend exploring LFP batteries. While they may be slightly pricier, they boast a significantly longer lifespan, often exceeding 15 years, and they offer higher power storage compared to the traditional 5-year lead acid batteries. The increased affordability of LFP batteries is due to the expiration of their patents, allowing Asian companies to export them to the West. Lastly, we have the power inverter, which is essential for converting battery voltage into a standard 120 volt AC power outlet, just like the ones in our homes. Ideally, I prefer to use the DC power directly from the battery whenever feasible, as inverters aren't the most efficient devices and consume power even when idle. However, my backyard lights require 120 volts, requiring the use of an inverter. With a full inverter in place, I can also keep all my tool batteries charged, ready and topped up. And now today's video sponsor, PCBWay. I have been using PCBWay for years, and they are my go-to manufacturer for all my prototypes. I've been averaging a week from the time I place an order to the time I have them in my hands. I'm very happy with the quality so far and ordering PCBs have come a long way, especially for hobbyists. So I encourage you to give them a visit. I will put a link to their site down below. To simplify things, I invested in Bluetooth adapters that connect to the battery and the charge controller. These adapters allow me to monitor their status, observe solar production, and check the battery's state of charge, along with accessing historical data. While not essential, they offer valuable insights into my setup and location. If you're curious about what this shed setup can achieve, let's break it down. The battery can store around 1.1 kilowatt hours of energy, while the solar panel generates approximately 800 watt hours per day. This means I can fully recharge the battery from 30% to 100% on sunny summer days. With the daily 800 watt hours, I can power basic Wi-Fi and internet, that consumes about 30 watts, as well as my backyard lights, which use about 10 watts for eight hours a day, totaling around 80 watt hours per night. Consequently, this small battery can power my night lights for over two weeks without requiring a recharge. However, with the solar panel, it gets recharged daily. To date, it has been operating for months, lighting up my backyard without any intervention. It also came in handy during a recent power outage by providing backup power for some lights until the generator was up and running. As you can see, there are many advantages of adding solar panel power to a shed, from environmental benefits to convenience, low maintenance, and reliable performance. So if you want to make your backyard shed more eco-friendly and self-sustaining, I suggest considering adding a solar panel, LFP battery, and charge controller. I think it's a worthwhile investment. So I hope you enjoyed my DIY project. Feel free to add a note in the chat if you have done something similar at your place. That's it for me. Bye!